What's that? <clears throat> Hello, friends. Today, I'm bringing you into the project. <laughs> no, actually, today, uh, I'm making something for my wife. Uh, actually, for my wife's work. She works at a daycare. And they're having a little, like, kids festival with games and stuff. So they wanted me to paint a beanbag toss for the kids to throw little beanbags through. And they wanted a teddy bear on it. So I was like... I could do that. And if any of them are watching, just know I don't mind doing these things. I actually love doing these things. So whenever they're asked, they're all like, do you mind if you would paint this bear? on I'm like, heck yeah, let's do it. I like these projects. Plus, um, since I have to cut holes for the beanbags to go through, I don't have a jigsaw or a router or nothing like that. So I was like, ah, here's an opportunity for me to get a new tool. So I asked my wife very nicely if I could get a jigsaw. Which I did. <laughs> I haven't even um, used it yet. Here it is. <laughs> this is going to come in handy, not just for this project, but for many other projects. So not only am I get to have fun and do stuff that I like to do, I got a new tool out of the deal. <laughs> okay, so what I did here mm -hmm, is I have a teddy bear. I found it on Google Images. Actually, they found it, and then I was like, well, I could use that one, but it was a Christmas teddy bear. It had a Christmas hat. And a little candy cane and like a Christmas outfit. And I was like, ah, I'll be able to work with that. I just need the, the shape. Uh, you probably, well, you'll be able to see it up here on the wall better. Oh, uh. I had it where I wanted it, but now that I picked it up and showed you, I have to readjust it. So, let's see. Uh, yep, right there. <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know if you can see that. I'm thinking after I get done, I might draw a little American flag. I'm holding a little American flag because it's. It's on a military base, so that makes sense. Let's, uh, I'm gonna take you in for a little closer look so you can take, check it out. <laughs> Ow! Oh, I'm getting old. Oh, my knee popped. Oh. Whoa! So here's a closer look of it. Um, it's pretty big. About, oh, probably about four feet, because this is five feet, so yeah. So it's gonna be probably about the biggest one I've ever done. So that's gonna be a lot of paint. But that's okay. As you can see what I did, this this was a Christmas hat, now it's a helmet. It was holding a candy cane, now it's not. And it had a tie or something going on here, so I just made it that. Yeah. My, my colors I'm using here are real brown for the uh, fur, a beige for the nose, the ear, and the circles and the feet. And then I got a lot of green and brown, or black, sorry, yeah. That's black. Nah. So I got black because it's going to be in the camo plus the entire outline. I'm going to outline it all in black. And then I got the green for the camouflage. And then I got the same beige that I'm going to use for that. <clears throat> I'm just going to add a little bit of black to it to make it a little bit darker. So it's more of a camo beige. So I have the three camo colors in there. So that's going to work out pretty good. But I think I'm going to use a lot more camo than I thought because I just realized he's not wearing any pants. Or is he? Initially, I thought he was Donald Duck in it and didn't have any pants on, but then I realized this isn't furry, so it looks like he's wearing pants, which is actually going to work out because how many army guys do you see walking around with no pants on? And then again, this is the teddy bear. Whatever. So he's going to be wearing pants. I initially thought he was just going to be brown and then brown and blah, 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 but the more I looked at it, the more I was like, you know, I think he's wearing pants. So and it'll make sense if he's wearing pants. So that way it's not brown clashing with brown right there. And this can all be one outfit and then the brown and the brown and blah, blah, blah. And then as far as the helmet goes, I still don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm still a work in progress. So you're seeing me live debate this. Everybody look at Jerry work. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do the helmet all black. Because when you think of an army bear wearing a helmet, you, you kind of think of like just a black helmet. But army helmets aren't black, so I don't, mm, I don't know if I'm just going to do it. Maybe just the green that's in here, just do a solid green. Or do it camo to match the uniform, but I don't know. Now I'm going to leave that to the last to see what it looks like. I'm going to color and everything else. And once I get to that part, I'll see if I should do it black or if I should do it green or do it camo so haven't got that far yet but you shall see what i do here shortly all right i guess it's time to do it less talky talky more worky worky so here we go
turned out pretty good. I, I could go over the brown, like one more coat to darken it up. But I actually kind of like that, like the different brush strokes, because it makes, makes it look a little furry. So I think I'm going to keep it that way. And I decided to do a green helmet. I think it looks good, matches that. So now, I have to cut the holes out with my new jigsaw. <laughs> Okie dokie, so here we are. If you've never used a jigsaw before, you gotta have a hole so you can start cutting. So, I got my drills here and something like, like a half inch bit, little spade bit will be perfect. Just enough to start, that's like a starter hole and then, so then you can stick the blade of the jigsaw in there and then start cutting. Just line up the outer edge of the spade bit with the line you're going to cut and then that'll be perfect. Alright, just plugged in my new jigsaw for the first time. Here it goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's a light on it, too. Oh, that, that's what's up. It's any good. This is awesome. It's cutting through it like butter. Ho, ho, ho. Awesome. So then what I'll probably do, since there's going to be kids playing with it, probably get my sander or uh, like a piece of sandpaper and I'll kind of smooth out these edges in case they want to stick their hands to it and play so they don't get any splinters. That'd be a nice thing to do. So, All right. One down, four more to go. Let's do it. I'll just about do it. <clears throat> got the holes cut out. I got them sanded down so I'll have the insides don't have any sharp edges on them. So I use a rubber hand around it, won't get any splinters. He's camouflaged, you can't see him. So I have to illuminate the holes a little bit so you can see it. So see you in about mm, 10 minutes. Ta da! <clears throat> All done. Uh, it took a, took a little while. There it is. All done. And then I added the American flags after I did this, because after I saw it, I was like, you know, it's missing something. Because originally, this bear was holding that candy cane, and I was like, nah, I'll put a flag or something in its hand. And after I got it all done, I wasn't going to do it, and I was like, no, it'd look really cool if, there's, if he was holding some American flags. So, I am actually pretty proud of those. I actually did these by hand. Kind of lucky, actually, that I, I picked the right size square... There's actually 50 stars and there's actually 50 dots in each one of them. And there's 13 stripes, seven red, six white. I actually lucked out. The, the ratio was just right. And I actually, in honor of our veterans and military, I wanted to make sure that those flags were right. Other than the dots not being stars, but I can't do stars that small. But other than that, there's 50 dots and everything is correct. So I'm pretty proud of those flags. Especially for being by hand. That'll do it. Now it's got to figure out how I'm going to get to stand up, but eh, we'll figure that out later. So for now, this project is done. It was a lot of fun. <clears throat> Hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching me do it. So I'll see you guys later.